The best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Hoke Show. Sorry about that, guys. A little distracted. The all-in team doing their thing over here, making me feel like an idiot. But that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> when you do technical snafus like not plugging in your guest headphone set, you kind of deserve it. Hey, I'm Mark Hoke. Thanks for being with us. We are once again live here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. I can be a little louder and obnoxious now that the players are on their dinner break here. And uh, day 1A here in the $10 million guaranteed main event. Lots of coin on the line here. Uh, of course, last year's winner picking up about $1.8 million. I think they're going to crack two. What do you think, Felix? We hitting two? First place gets two million? You think so? I feel it. I feel it. 1.8. Yeah, we got we got two million coming, so expecting the, the couple of millionaires to uh, be made here at the Seminole Hard Rock over the next few days. Of course, we have day one A today, one B tomorrow, one C firing up on uh, Saturday, and then we start heading into the home stretch days two, three, four, and five. And of course, we're gonna have a live streamed final table uh, brought to you by the Poker Stars TV gang. Uh, Steeps and John are coming in, so uh, we're looking forward to seeing them in here. I, I had a great suggestion for Steeps, by the way. You know, Joe and I go a ways back and uh, always have a lot of fun with Joe. I had a great time with Huff and Steeps. I still miss that show desperately. But, of course, uh, so I said, Joe, we ought to remake the Boats and Hoes song and video. I think I think a Hoke and Steeps version would be very good, to say the least. So uh, very excited to have uh, uh, Joe Stapleton coming in here to do commentary for this final table and also for the high roller. Uh, those tournaments, uh, both wrapping up on Wednesday, uh, but we're going to have, of course, a $100,000 super high roller coming in here, uh, as well as this $10 million guarantee main event. Some people are going to be walking out of here with a lot of money over the next week. should be very exciting, and we're looking forward to everything that's going to be going down there. And of course, uh, players are on break, dinner break right now. They got a wow! They got a nice break. Yeah, about a 75, 80 minute break there. So uh, we'll see who can catch uh, coming back in here uh, as the players uh, will be rejoining us here in just a little while in the ballroom at this beautiful Seminole Hard Rock uh, Casino here in Hollywood, Florida. And I got to tell you, this facility is unreal. Great fitness center, pool anything that you need and so the restaurants are off the hook and of course you want to drop some money in the slot machines or on the tables this is your place to be so uh, come on down and uh you know and by the way oh almost forgot tomorrow slash joins the uh hits the concert stage here it's right the guns and roses guitarist former guns and roses guitarist uh velvet revolver who actually I like better than gnr just me i'm a velvet revolver i love that uh love that band uh We'll be uh, hitting the uh, hitting the stage here tomorrow, and so you have a chance to come down and see play some poker and see Slash. Now that's a combination, guys. Uh, can't miss that. All right, uh, so let's get you some updates on what is going on here at the, the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. And of course, if you want to catch the attention of the blog team here, of course, uh, blogging on uh, shrpo.com and or. Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open.com, whichever one you want to use. Uh, just tweet them at, at SHRPO, hashtag SHRPO, and I've got those tags up there too for you so we can keep an eye on uh, all the players' messages because they tell you, tend to give you some pretty up to date stuff on what's going on and all the crazy things that are happening at this tournament. But uh, right now, of course, the uh, room uh, pretty empty except for a side tournament going on, probably a qualifier. Uh, taking place on the far side of the room right now and uh kayleen banging away over there you go girl 
Hey, we both got final tables. Yeah! <laughs> Yay, blog team! <laughs> and Al got paid, too. Felix. Felix. Oh. We should chip in and put him in the 150. <laughs> that would be cool, though. We should we should get Felix Mox in there and see if we can uh, get him a cash while he's here, too. And then we got to have a clean sweep. Because when Ryan was here, there was no chance, but he's gone now, so that... <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, let's take a look at uh, enough of the silly. So let's take a look at what uh, has been happening here. Uh, of course, a lot of poker royalty in the house and some celebrities here, too. Richard Seymour is in the house, the former uh, New England Patriot and Oakland Raider. And I got to tell you, you know, it's funny whenever you see the NFL guys on TV, you just, you know, and professional wrestlers the same way, too. Whenever you see these guys on TV, you know, they it just doesn't do justice how big they are. I mean, Richard Seymour right now could probably take his bicep, cover my face, and if he wanted to put my head in his elbow, just, and I'm done. Dude is huge. My God. And he's uh, in the field here today along with uh, so many other great players. Uh, and let's uh, take a look-see at what's going on. I think, uh, of course, uh, Kayleen's probably going to get some chip counts here sometime. Of course, uh, Blair Hinkle in the house trying to defend that championship. Of course, uh, last year, uh, one well, one point seven four five million for his uh, victory last time around knocked off Justin Bonomo heads up. Uh, of course, uh, Hinkle has had a great career World Series bracelet, uh, which uh, actually was the first World Series event I played in back in two thousand seven ish, two thousand eight. Excuse me, uh, on my honeymoon. I don't tell anybody, uh, but he certainly uh, is looking to try and bring that title back home. Uh, we have uh, 327 entrants. Of course, we need to uh, we need to get 2,000 entries to crack that guarantee, and that I don't think it's going to be a problem. Of course, uh, players can re-enter today until level 10, and I believe we're at nine right now. So, uh, last chance for these guys to hop in to this flight. Of course, uh, one very interesting name that has just arrived in the building a little while ago is Jason Mercier. Uh, Mercier, of course, was just playing in Barcelona. Uh, less than 24 hours ago, hopped a flight, and he is now here in the field. As are so many, uh, and we're you know we're starting to see some of those guys that played at Barcelona make their way into the tournament. Uh, but uh, Jason Mercier, who had a pretty big cash over there, looking to try and get this done. I'm sure uh, some of the players uh, may have decided to wait until tomorrow. That's a pretty uh, long jaunt. Uh, taking a look at, oh, we had a few chip counts. Uh, these are from earlier, uh, so I think we might pass on some of them. But just to give you some idea about the names that are here, uh, Derek Simon, Noah Schwartzin, Bart Hansen, uh, Micah Raskin, Matt Affleck, Joe Cotta, uh, Darren Elias, uh, Chris Mormon, Joe Cuther, Cool Pahuja, Dan Buzgon, Matt Stout, Chance Corner, Dan O'Brien, Josh Ari, John Dolan, Jared Jaffe, who's been playing here for you know, quite a while in this series. Uh, Kevin Schaffel and uh, Medic, uh, Brian Hastings, Matt Glantz, all here today. Uh, the grinder, Michael Mizraki, is here, but he did bust out. Uh, not sure if he came back in or, in or not. Uh, Will Givens here, of course, as I mentioned, Richard Seymour is in here. Mike Leah playing this one today. Jared Jaffe. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, John Hennigan is in the house, of course, the this year's Chip Reese Trophy winner. Uh, playing this seminal Hard Rock Poker Open, uh, along with uh, guys like Chance Cornith, uh, Dan O'Brien here. Uh, so many great players looking to try and get this done. Here's some more. Uh, Simon Deadman is in the house. Isaac Barron has made his way here, uh, along with Todd Terry, uh, David Paradis. And uh, just looking to see. Oh... Yeah, well, I think we'll hold off on chip counts till we get them some in there. Uh, the man that knocked me off yesterday and did so very decisively, I might add, uh, Nick Eunice, uh, has apparently fired his second bullet. He's trying to hang in there. Uh, of course, he's only got uh, one shot to get into this thing. He's going to be headed out to a bachelor party, so the charity series of poker champion looking good. Uh, Chance Corneth uh, did bust out, by the way. Decided to only play one bullet, and that might not have been a bad idea because Chance was... We'll just say he was having a good time last night uh, in the charity series of poker and uh, you know, probably needed to get some rest today for sure. 
Uh, taking a look at some other ones. Uh, Blair Hinkle had an interesting hand where he, uh, <laughs> Blair thought he made a hero call when uh, his uh, opponent on a 9-4-3-5-8 board uh, flipped it over an ace five, and unfortunately, uh, and the guy said nice call, but unfortunately, Blair it wasn't, and he had to muck his hand. Uh, Carlos Loving, who won uh, event number eleven here, uh, is in the field. So of course, uh, some of the guys, you know, obviously not every player in this field is a superstar, well-known professional. So many guys uh, out there on the circuit looking to try and take a shot at this one and bring home this title. Uh, so. That's where we are at the moment, and as soon as uh, we do get some updates, I think the sheets have been uh, have been collected. So we will see uh, on chip counts as soon as we can uh, where a lot of these players stand here in this ten million dollar guaranteed tournament. All right, so bear with me one second, uh, and let's take a look at some of the other. Uh, Interesting things going on social media because we can actually give a few of these. Uh, Daniel Buzgon's a 68, 68K right now. Uh, let's see, Blair Hinkle is at 70. Uh, Bart Hansen standing at 84K at the moment. Todd Terry uh, listed at, looks like he took a hit and he's at 32K right now. I'll take a look at some other guys. Uh, Victor Zabrissa, who uh, was in the an event uh Final table to an event a couple of days ago. Uh, he stands at 70K. Uh, Barry Hutter is, <laughs> at least uh, at this moment, uh, tweet about an hour ago, said, I am no longer an active participant in the SHRPO 5K. All right, and uh, last tweet from Blake Bond was uh, at 50K. So uh, the man from Minnesota has made his way down to this tournament as well and uh, got to say hi to him earlier. He's looking pretty good. Uh, Zoe Kareem is in here. Looks sounds like he's ready to fire away. Uh, Joey Wiseman here too. So a lot of great players uh, trying to get the job done here. Uh, Carlos Loving is uh, reported in at 105,000 chips. Uh, also looking, let's see. Paul Balzano is listed at 50K right now. Cliff Gold kind at 86. And I think that's about all we've got right now. So uh, so these guys, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be getting some more chip counts in. Right now, and oh wow, I just got an interesting tweet. We'll talk about that. Oh my goodness, how about that one? Because I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, uh, this is this whole thing with Olivia Bousquet. Um, you know, I'm okay, so I, I man, I hate to get into that right now. I'm, I'm gonna save that for a little bit because I just saw the tweet and I want to collect my thoughts um, about uh, what got said. So we'll get we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, let's take a look back at some of the other happenings here at this uh, Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, something just uh, something just came up right now. And, uh, you know, like I said, I want to want to catch my breath a little bit there. Just a little bit. All right. Let's take a look back uh, at the rest of this tournament series now. Uh, we didn't do a recap today yet, so let's uh, take a look at it. Event number one, the uh, $350 Deep Stack No Limit Hold'em re-entry tournament. Uh, of course, uh, 2,888 2, entries, uh, $866,400 in that prize pool. And that one goes to the Miami boss, Dan Swade. Uh, Dan uh, picking up, of course, one down from down here in Florida, picks up $110,349 for the victory, beats out David Smith and Reynaldo Troncanis for that victory. Uh, also some notables in that one, Tristan Wade finishing 11th, Rex Klinkscales finishing 13th. In event number one. Uh, let's take a look at event number two, the Omaha 
high-low tournament. And that one goes to David Brown out of Babson Park, Florida, uh, followed by John Benz and Miami John Cernudo, who's put up, a, I believe, four caches in this tournament, a few final tables for him. Uh, so Miami John getting the job done there as well. Uh, Abraham Levy in fourth, Brent Keene in fifth. And that is event number two here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open, $250 Omaha High Low. And event number three, the uh, $250 Deep Stack Turbo No Limit Hold'em event. Uh, event number three goes to Michael Mowat out of Miami Beach, Florida. Of course, Michael had a pretty solid World Series this year. And he takes it down, knocking off WL from Plantation, Florida. In second, John McGregor in third, David Silverman in fourth, Daniel Yu in fifth. In that one. Uh, event number four, let's go to the uh, No Limit Hold'em re-entry tournament. Uh, $1,100 deep stack buy-in on that one. And we had uh, a three-way chop. Paul Dome is your winner, uh, followed by Victor Coelho and Stuart Greenbaum finishing third in that one. Daniel Buzgon finishing fourth, and Gok Vu has had a great World Series, or a great uh, Seminole Hard Rock Series, finishing in fifth place in that. Uh, event number five. Uh, goes to, actually, I believe that was a, f that we had a nine-way chop in that one. That was a $150 no limit hold and re entry term. They had $250,000 prize pool on that. And Alan Goodman finishing, uh, gets the official victory on that, followed by Daniel Costa, Gaston Michalitsky, uh, Cesar Fuentes, Andres Morales, uh, Alex Bergforce, Stuart Patterson, Din Wynn, and Marshall White uh, finishing. Uh, TJ Schulman got off to a great start in the series. Uh, he finishes in 10th place. Uh, event number, whoops, went to event number five again. That doesn't count. Uh, event number six says the $560 Black Chip Bounty No Limit Hold'em Tournament. Kevin Ho finishing first in that one out of Fort Myers, Florida. Bradley Young in second out of New York, New York. Followed by Victor Figueroa, Mark Prevenzano, and Robert Campbell taking fifth place. Uh, Michael Wang, who's had three final tables of the series. That was the first one as he finishes ninth in event number six. Uh, event number seven, the... Uh, $350 black, a big stack black chip, no limit, a bounty no limit holding tournament goes to Adam Lamphere out of uh, Michigan. Of course, Adam's been having a great year and uh, adds to it as he picks up uh, first place in $11,218. And that one knocks off Jonah Miller, Miami John Cernudo uh, in third, Marcin Pluinski in fourth, Leonard Miller in fifth, Jorge Gomez in sixth. And of course, seventh place, Kayleen Minton. You betcha. Uh, one of our members of our blog team here. Uh, finishes in seventh place in that event. Um, yep, so we'll, we'll slide it right over to event number eight. And that is, of course, the big one we had so far, the million-dollar guarantee, 2,767 entries in that $560 deep stack, no limit hold'em. And Riley Fuller takes that one down, wins $239,585. Adam Rouse in second. Adam Zimikowski out of Racine, Wisconsin in third. Stephen Jones out of Philadelphia in fourth. And Derek Simon uh, had a great run here. And, uh, of course, he's playing today's main event, wins $71,768. Uh, Brian Hastings, you're notable in that one, uh, finishes in 11th place. And in uh, the seniors event, of course, uh, 50 or over on that one. And uh, we saw him in the field today. Uh, John Coughlin the third picks up that title as he defeats uh, Robert Chow out of Schaumburg, Illinois. Uh, Yvonne McQuillan, uh, the Irish transplant, now living in Fort Myers, Florida, finishes third. Alexander Brody in fourth. Stanley Rosenfall in fifth. Lisa Levy sixth on that one. 
And that was a wild seniors event. Uh, if you didn't get to see the recap on that, you can go to shrpo.com uh, and take a look at what happened on that one. That was a, just a interesting tournament, uh, to say the least. Uh, we then go to the horse tournament, uh, event number 10, and $250 buy-in on that. And it went to the guy you love. A lot of people up in the Northeast love to hate sometimes, uh, Jack the Snake Deutsch. A uh, very polarizing figure up there. Uh, but uh, Deutsch manages to knock off Nancy Cope and a wild finish on that one, too. Uh, Cope finishing second. Uh, Faith Klimzak finishes third. Peter Walsworth in fourth. Nicholas Cost finishing in fifth in that horse tournament. Uh, we go to... Event number 11. Uh, that is the $560 double black chip bounty, no limit hold'em. Uh, Carlos Loving, your winner on that. Of course, Carlos also playing the main event today uh, out of Sarasota. Picks up $12,079 on that one. James Sutherland in second. Ilya Sliapas out of Kingsland, Georgia finishes third. Uh, Mohamed uh, McGraw, McGroy uh, finishing, I'm sure that's wrong, but we'll work on that sometime. Uh, finish, out of Brandon Florida finishing in fourth place. Jonathan Marks has had a pretty good uh, series, picked up a couple of deep runs here. He finishes in fifth on that one. And uh, Gok Vu out of South Daytona had the cash in that, finishing in 10th place. And let's uh, take a look at event number 12, eight game mix. Uh, I got to cover that one for the Seminole Hard Rock blog. And that one goes to Matt Weinman, or Daniel Weinman, excuse me, uh, Wyman in a, a very interesting uh, six-handed final table. Knocks off uh, World Series of Poker bracelet loader. Stephen Lewanski and John Thrower, those guys made a chop on that. Uh, it was originally two getting paid in that with 18 players. Uh, Thrower uh, gets in on the deal and uh, finishes third and gets $6,500 on that one. John Raisner uh, also on that final table. On to event number 13, And that was the Big Stack 6 Max Nolan and Hold'em re-entry tournament. And that was won by uh, one of the one of those amateurs in the field. Uh, Konstantinos Liapis of uh, St. Mary's, Georgia, wins that event, takes down 22044 bucks. John Robertson second. Daryl Fish making a great run there. He finishes third. Eric Nuss in fourth. Steve Snyder in fifth. Um, Abby Daniels in sixth. Dolphy Garrix finishing in seventh place in event number 13. Event 14, Pot Lim in Omaha. And that one goes to Henry Hull, St. Augustine, Florida, uh, winning $7,969. Anna Calder finishing second. And, boy, the ladies made some great runs in here. Uh, none of them picking up a title yet, but... Of course, uh, we're certainly not done by any means. Uh, David May finishes third. Michael Matheny in fourth. Luis Santoni in fifth. Scott Jaffa in sixth. Uh, Matthew Zarkadoulas finishing seventh. William B. Eighth. And Miami John Sternudo in there once again. Unofficial final table, but he did get there. Uh, finishes in ninth place. So Miami John continues his great run here. And uh, Miami's checking out the points and point standings and everything. You know, he's pretty excited. It's been a... A great job by him in this one. Uh, Eight-hand and no-limit home tournament. Uh, that one ended in a three-way chop, which Steel Sutter just edged out Joseph Reddick and Chips when they agreed to the chop, and Steel Sutter out of Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, uh, winning event 15. Uh, Joseph Reddick in second, and Constantinos Panaritas, who's had a pretty solid world, or a pretty solid seminal hard rock series, finishes third. Uh, Michael Wang picking up another cash and final table. Finishing in sixth place in that one. And then, of course, uh, we go to the uh, six max no limit hold'em. Uh, this one finished up yesterday, uh, event number 16. And that one belongs to Mohamed Raguay uh, out of Brandon, Florida, finishing, uh, taking that down. Knocks off Joe Cooter, uh, Joe Cooter, Cooter, excuse me. Uh, John DeBella finishing third, and I believe they had a chop on that one. Uh, Corey Burbick in fourth, Tyler Staffman in fifth, and uh, Matt Stout uh, taking down seventh place in that one. Uh, Zoe Kareem 
uh, finishes in ninth place. So Matt Stout, while his charity tournament was going on, ends up uh, finishing in seventh place in that event. Uh, the charity series of poker tournament, that one finished up yesterday, and uh, Nick Yunus uh, taking that one down. The number one ranked player on the GPI from Chile uh, is your champion, uh, scored big in a, in a star-studded event. And, uh, well, uh, we'll just skip over who finished second. I think we uh, might all know that. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Wyman finishing third there. Uh, Zoltan Zinkota finishing fourth. Uh, Deborah Mitchell in fifth. Chance Cornus finishing in sixth. And uh, Real Housewives of Miami star Joanna Krupa gets to the final table and finishes in ninth place. All right, so that's your recap of where we are here in the World Series, or the, uh, God, I'm saying it three times now, uh, Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Uh, we are, of course, into the main event today. Uh, that one that kicked off, of course, some other secondary turns plus qualifiers going on right now. And, of course, we also have some other events coming up here, main events in the series, plus what's going on uh, on the side events, too. All right, so uh, let's step back and take a break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. I want to thank you for joining us here, and, uh, of course, we're live here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Players are on break, uh, about 43 minutes left in their break for them as uh, they are chasing down that $10 million, part of that $10 million prize pool, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thank you for joining us. Poker players, it's time to check out DeejPoker.com. Deej Poker is the unique and clever choice for a new generation of true grinders. Representing the full spectrum of poker players from the novice to the world champion, a true Deej player gives their heart and soul for countless hours at the table to be the best. And Deej Poker Apparel shows everyone who you really are on and off the felt. So join the new generation at DeejPoker.com. That's Deej Poker. E E G Poker.com. Deej Poker, the world's newest poker apparel store. I'm Dutch Boyd, two time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. 12 years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle right now. Pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Sports bettors, tired of getting beat every week at your sports book? It's time to stop guessing and start winning. We all know cash is king, and it's time to let the team at Double Digit Covers come to the rescue to help you get the positive cash flow you need to live the life you've always dreamed about. Tony Dose and his all-star sports handicapping team will be in your corner to help you beat the point spread, bring excitement and winning to your betting experience, and build your bankroll to levels you never thought possible. Get free winning sports information at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Stop guessing and start winning today at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Call now for today's free winner. 1-855-489-2700. That's 1-855-489-2700. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. 
That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill fitting clothing. Because, like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit blindsquirrelapparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H O K E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. All right, and we are back here on The Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us. We're live here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Main event players on break right now. Uh, I believe getting ready to come back to level 9 or 10 somewhere in that ballpark. And play for a championship. Now, uh, okay, I hate to take the time to discuss this. I, you know, we had a we had a pretty very good debate uh, about uh, you know politics and poker and you know the the choices that Dan Coleman and uh, Olivier Bousquet have made recently. I think they were are bad ones but now i'm a little hot um you know first the guy uh, in after two tweets uh, decides to call me a profanity you know i'm not happy about that and i and uh, you know i would think that if you're trying to have a serious debate you know that's not the way to do it but then uh without uh, tagging me on twitter i mean this this is unbelievable uh claimed that i said that the innocent people getting slaughtered deserved it uh, I simply have no tolerance. I'm going to tell you something right now, Olivier. I don't want anybody getting killed. That that's a ridiculous statement. You know. You also, Olivier, in, you know, during this debate, Olivier also uh, stretched it that said that we, following my logic, we deserve to get attacked on 9/11. And you know, it, it's a typical left side debate tactic. Oh, we're just going to sensationalize everything. You know, Olivier. I'm going to say this straight to you. You know darn well that's not what I meant. That's not what I said when. When the Palestinian Authority citizens elected a terrorist organization to run their country, well, you know what? That's the leadership they chose. So when you have leaders like that, they're going to do things not supposed to do. You look back at World War II and uh, letting Hitler run a show, you know, the people let him do it, and look what ended up happening. So, you know, and when people are getting slaughtered in Israel for no reason and, uh, you know, attack teenagers being attacked, suicide bombers, tunnels dug into their country. Don't tell me that the Palestinians are on the right side of that issue. Now I'm hot. You're welcome to come on this show anytime, Olivier, and we'll go at it. And we'll go at it as long as we need to go, pal. You know, you're, you're a WPT host. You have no right to call anybody in the poker media profanity. You'll note that even if I'm upset, I haven't said a word like that to you. Because that's not how I work. I stay above it. And I just prove myself with the facts. So you want to come on the show, Olivier? The door's right here. I hope I hope you're coming out here to Florida. I'd love to see you. Anyway, so, yeah, enough of that. <laughs> How I got in this feud, I'll never know. But I guess, uh, you know, sticking up for the right thing sometimes is hard to do. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, see if I have any more updates coming in here from the uh, Seminole Hard Rock uh, Poker Open. And we do. Of course, uh, we're at 324 entries right now here on in this tournament uh, with day 1A uh, closing after the dinner break. So the players have a chance to uh, still register uh, for this event. They want to still hop in right now. 
Uh, don't have any chip counts yet, unfortunately, as we uh, get there. But, of course, I know everybody's working hard to pull that together for us. So as soon as we get it, we'll be more than happy to uh, relay any information we've got for you uh, from what's happening here at this event. But uh, day 1A registration closing shortly here. 34 minutes as these guys uh, grabbing a bite and getting ready to play. How you doing? Uh, I'm All right, and <laughs> look, guys, I, I, I got to say this in, in all honesty. I love everybody, okay, but the <laughs> I have T-shirts, but they're not free. You paid $5,300 to play a tournament. You can't shell out 12 bucks for a T-shirt? Come on, guys. Just uh, live it up a little bit. You know, I, I work pretty hard to do this show for not a lot of money. All right, so, uh, of course, uh, some other... Uh, th items going on in the poke world of course uh, we are uh, we have a couple of events of course we talked about the uh, EPT main event finishing up so everybody's barreling their way over here but uh, let's take a look at what is happening at the uh, WPT Legends event uh, that is uh, wrapping up out there in uh, Bell Gardens California at the Bicycle Casino uh, they are down to 12 out there, and we have a new chip leader, Tyler Cornell, has jumped out in front there. He is at 3,330,000. Jeremy Kotler in second, 3,325,000. So pretty close to the top of the board there. Tyler Kenny, uh, the leader coming in here to the final day of this event, is at 2.895 million. They're the only guys of the 12 over the chip average right now. Uh, Anthony Tao is in fourth, 1.3 million. Uh, Owen Crow at 1.29 million. Kevin Stamen, of course, uh, the WPT uh, champion from last year, trying to go back to back. So uh, trying to win the last event, the first event here, he stands at 1.28 million. So he has a chance to make this final table after being around 500,000 ish to start the day. Uh, Masood Eskandari at 1.285, Richard Monroe at 1.125, Jimmy Lee at 925,000, Tyler McFarland at 840,000, Andy Frankenberger trying to hang on, of course, a former champion of this event uh, at 725,000, and Harut, Harut Yanyan at 615,000. Uh, Gene O'Leary, Dylan Wilkerson, Joe Zagati, Zagetti, and Hui Lam in the uh are the busted out players so far today they start with 16 they are down to 12 and looking to play down to the final table to play for the wpt legends of poker championship and of course uh, uh just to recap the ept barcelona main event championship andre latau winning that one as he picks up the win out of 496 entries on that one, uh, he wins 794,058 euros. Uh, Samuel Phillips at 1,021,275 euros finishes second. They made a deal with three-handed uh, Hussein Ensan also. Uh, and on that, uh, picks up 652,666 euros. Uh, Andrea Dotto, uh, Andre Shatilov, Kirill Radzivnaov, Rad... Radzivanau out of Belarus finishing sixth. Uh, Ji Zhang finishing seventh. And Slavin Popov also on that final table finishing in eighth place. So uh, congratulations to Andre Latau winning the, out of Germany, winning the EPT Barcelona main event. Gets all the. Uh, confetti coming down on, the, on him and the trophy. And, of course, uh, a huge event win to kick off this season's EPT. And, of course, uh, we're going to be seeing the EPT announcing team uh, coming out here soon. Uh, Joe Stapleton's going to be joining us as uh, Poker Stars TV is going to be presenting uh, two live streams out here as they're going to cover the, the high roller and, of course, this $10 million championship uh, as we're going to be playing for one of the biggest prizes in poker out there. Of course, uh, Blair Hinkle picking up some big money last year, a $1.74 million and uh, someone that I think is going to be probably walking away with a little bit more than that this year. 
Uh, of course, Justin Bonomo finishing second, also picking up, hitting the million-dollar line on that. So should be pretty exciting. We're looking forward to uh, you know, this getting a little bit deeper into this thing. 330 entries now on the board. And let's see, uh, some other poker news, by the way. Apparently, uh, we're going to have a little fun on Full Tilt Poker again. Uh, as these guys you know, try to rescue a, a, a struggling brand and one uh, that rumor has it that Amaya may not be keeping now that they've acquired poker stars. Uh, uh, they're going to be battling in a head. Victor Blum and uh, Gus Hansen will be battling it out in a heads up showdown. Uh, which is going to be on uh, September Sunday, September 14th. Uh, they're going to full tilt is they're going to put up a it's going to be a battle for a fifty thousand dollar prize. Uh, full tilt will award to the winner, uh, which should be pretty exciting. Um, as, of course, Bloom uh, skipped Vegas in the EPT in Barcelona. Uh, so he's pretty excited about getting into this one. But it was going to be a best of three battle, uh, three different poker variants. Uh, they're going to apparently they're going to start the game with a stud eight. And then they will play a no limit deuce seven triple draw, uh, and then uh, you the, the you the viewer will get to choose what game uh, is decided on a public vote on the full tilt blog. So that'll be fun. Uh, so these guys, uh, so Blom and Hansen are gonna shoot it out, and uh, you will decide if it goes three games what they're gonna play. I say put in go fish. I think that would be the uh, that would be the winner. Um, now, and added to this challenge, uh, whoever loses uh, is either uh, is to quote unquote uh, from poker to seek redemption by either playing one thousand hands of micro stakes Raz or record and publish a video in which he sings the opponent's national anthem. Who? That's a tough one. I don't know. I don't, I'd be interested to see uh, what we. Uh, what we think on that uh i don't know I, a thousand hands of ooh, a thousand hands of raz oh yui i don't know what would you guys do would you would you take the uh would you take the raz or would you take the singing into somebody else's national anthem i don't know I don't know. I oh, a thousand hands of micro raz, but I suppose if you're multi tabling, that wouldn't take too long. You know, these guys can set up, you know, thirty, twenty five, thirty tables at a time, so yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't take too long. Yeah, thirty, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I, you know, if I was multi tabling heavily, I could probably do the raz. So we'll we'll see what happens on that. But uh, so good luck to those guys in that heads up challenge All right, uh, let's see what else is going on here too uh, just real quick uh, uh, let's see of course uh, we, you know we and uh, yeah we did talk about this on the uh, KLAV show a little bit and uh, you know this is a very interesting situation uh, with the Indian Supreme Court uh, is apparently going to be ruling on the legality of uh, rummy and poker uh right now there is there was a suit uh filed that uh said that rummy which had previously been classified as a game of skill by the supreme court in 1968 is now under fire and if uh, they lose the uh, all these uh, a lot of the indian card rooms which feature rummy and poker are going to get shut down uh, because or won't, well, they won't be able to play for real money. So this is a this is a ruling that 1.2 billion people <laughs> are going to be affected by uh, in potentially in the poker community. So this will be something interesting to watch as uh, this comes around. Of course, there are some uh, you know other sites that are in India as well. Uh, so it's like out of 52 has rummy and poker. Throw poker just uh, does poker. And poker stars in 888 are also uh, offer real money in India. So this is a, a massive uh, debate going on here in the Indian Supreme Court. So 
We'll see what happens there. Uh, by the way, we also got in uh, Chris Mormon uh, here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Uh, 62K is on the board for him. So Chris Mormon off to a decent start here. And, of course, it's a very interesting debate because these players can't just take that stack and throw it in the garbage can. Um, or uh, can't carry it over and hope. Uh, these players, if they finish the day up, have to decide if they want to keep those chips or come back and play another day. So some big decisions are going to be coming up later on tonight in uh, this Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. In one second, I'm just going to pull up uh, something here on the schedule real quick just to give you everybody an idea once again what these players, the challenge these players will be facing today. Uh, of course, days 1A, 1B, 1C, next three days followed by playing down to a day five on this. So this uh, event going over a week. So players, of course, starting this thing with 30,000 chips. So that gives you a good idea where they are uh, when players are posting their chip counts on this one. Oh, I think Uncle Crunk's in the house, by the way. Look out. Uh, 30,000 chips. Uh, of course, uh, you can register until level start of level 10. So uh, that's where we're going to be going right now after the break. So anybody that still wants to get into this thing today has to do it within the next 22 minutes. And then, of course, you can register 1A, 1B, 1C and can uh, re-enter for subsequent starting days. You may not bag and play a subsequent flight. So once again, you have to forfeit the stack or re-enter in a subsequent starting day. Uh, levels right now, uh, 1 through 9, are 40 minutes and then 10 through 23 or 60 minutes each. And then they go to 90 minutes the rest of the way. Uh, day one play ends after level 13. So we're not actually not far from the end of the day on this one uh, as we get to level 10. So we've got about, let's see, 40, 40, 40. Well, we've got four 40-minute levels left. So, so 160 minutes of poker coming at you for the rest of the night. Uh, day two ends at level 23. Uh, day three will end at 18 players, tournament discretion or tournament director discretion. Day four ends at six players, and day five plays until completion. Right, and um, and of course, uh, we're going to be live streaming uh, this thing on uh, uh, the Poker Stars team is coming in, so pretty excited about that. And of course, uh, we have some great media coverage down here too, uh, with All In Magazine. These kids are just. Darned amazing at what they do. You're not sweating anymore, Felix. Are you okay? You're fr okay. Yeah. Now you now you've gotten cold. Look at Chris Spears here, by the way, sporting a GoPro camera, which I believe is the All in Magazine teams. I'm not sure. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's some serious equipment leavage. Watch out there, Chris. Chris, watch out. Chris, watch out. <laughs> you almost hit my camera. That's okay. Do you want to come on and say hi for a second? You've got a minute or two. You're going to have to go. You probably have to go that way, though, because we're blocked in over here. By the way, if a fire breaks out, ladies, no offense, I'm going over the top. Going over the top. Let's, uh, let's say hi to one of our great tournament directors here at the Seminole Hot Rock Poker Open. And, of course, he's the man, too. You want your headphones? You yeah, I need some headphones. need his headphones. Chris Spears finally has stopped blowing me off. Chris, what's up? Oh, not much. Just uh, getting ready for the uh, restart of the main event here in about 20 minutes. Just walked in the room uh, about 6, had to work for 30 minutes, and then I got an hour and a half break. So now I'm ready to put the working shoes back on. Chris, this has been one hell of a series, hasn't it? Boy, we've seen some incredible plays, amazing deals. I mean, what a couple of weeks this has been so far. Oh, yeah, it's great down here. You can't beat the weather. Uh, the, the, the room, the uh, ballroom we have the tournament in is awesome. Uh, and I don't know if Mark's mentioned, did, did you mention about the uh, tournament you are? You came in second? Yeah, I briefly touched on oh, it. Oh, yeah, well, Mark played a great charity event yesterday. I don't know if he, he briefly touched on it, he said, but 
he ended up coming in second, and he gets to go to the Bahamas now. Do you guys feel bad for him out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yes, I'll, so. I'll be I'll be ripping the the my Mark Hokomaniacs out there. There you go. I don't know what the hell to call them, but what are Mark Hokomaniacs? I have no idea. They they listen to my show for some weird reason. So are you guys out there really? They they're out there. I'm just kidding. They're out there. Yes, Mark. I haven't been on your show for a couple of years. What's, I know. What's, what's been what's new? What's new? Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, of course, we're on KLAV in Las Vegas, moved out there. You moved to Vegas. I did move to Vegas. How about that? How are you liking it out there? I like it. Good. I like it. Good. It's uh, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot, of, lot to do out there. There's no snow. There yeah. is snow, actually. Not, no, rarely. You have to go to Mount Charleston. Yeah, see, I'm not going to the mountain. Why would Why would I want to go to the snow? Well, I have I have no desire. I thought you were a big skier or a snowboarder. Oh, do I look like a skier or a snowboarder? <laughs> I, I trust my balance. When equipment becomes involved, no thank you. No thank you? I no thank you. you. Am I actually on that right now? Yeah. People can see me. They can see you. Oh, wow. You're looking good, man. Oh, man, now I'm nervous. They can actually see me. Yeah. Like, hearing my voice is one thing, but actually seeing the person. So, you know, it's like a story. They they begged for it. Who's when you're at the World Series, everybody said, why don't you have a camera on these people? And I said, why don't I? So I did. Now you have the Logitech. I, I respond. Is that the widescreen or the, uh, you know, just straight on logic? Uh, we kind of got it straight on. Well, I mean, it, you know, it's a, it does a wide angle. But it does a wide angle. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. It, it has to be wide angle for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for me too. Oh, stop it. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. So uh, how's everything been going for you today? Oh, fantastic. Just uh, enjoying the atmosphere here, the Seminole Hard Rock and uh, – you know, it's been a sensational tournament, I mean, and we've got some great players coming in, and uh, of course, some of the guys making their way in from Barcelona too, already. Have some players made it? I know some uh, players or spectators are already asking me who's here and who's not, and I was like, well, I just walked in, I don't really know who's here yet. So, um, but yeah, last year we had a great, great turnout, great field, lots of uh, European players came in. Hopefully, they're coming in from the PCA, or was it the PCA? EPT. 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 Yeah. So. Um, you know, today's number is, it's okay. We're expecting a little more. You know, Friday and Saturday, I'm thinking Saturday, obviously, we'll have the biggest field. I think last year we had 1,200 players on that, that one day. Yeah. So, should should be able to get there with no problem, I hope. Yeah. And, of course, you know, Chris, uh, you know, you've been directing tournaments all over the country. And, you know, people I know really have a ton of respect for what you do, too. And, you know, you know a lot of people, when they think about tournament directors, you hear, you hear Matt Savage and you hear Jack Effel. But, you know, you've really worked your way up in that elite class, too. What is, what is your key to success of uh, being a tournament director and, and being able to relate to the players like this? Uh, my philosophy has always been, um, you know, the players are here to make money, but they're, all, they're also here to have fun, you know. And um, when I'm working, I want to joke around with them, make sure they're having a good time, but also we are giving them a good product. Um, I always tell everybody, you know, this is just a poker tournament. I know we're playing for money, but it's not like we're saving lives and having brain surgery or rocket science. We're not doing those kind of things. Um, so my idea is give them a good product, show them a good time, have fun with them, um, and hopefully they come back and enjoy their experience. Yep, and uh, certainly everybody has a great venue out here. You know, what stands out to you about this place that makes it different from other places that you run tournaments? Miami. <laughs> one word answer that's there all you, you need. go no the uh the actually the um the hosting property the seminole hard rock here is uh great host they uh, do a lot of great things for players we have player parties uh, actually saturday night we're going to have a players party for anybody that likes to play or wants to go all you have to do is ask any floor man they'll give you a wristband um it's going to be at passion nightclub the live DJ set. So if you you want to come by, dress code is strictly enforced, though, guys. So no no T-shirts or hats and stuff like that. But so, so I can't wear a, a, a Save Gaza shirt. Mm, Not gonna happen. Yeah, I, unless you're trying to start a riot or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, they're gonna put on this party. Uh, they did it last year. It was a great success. Um, just anybody interested, you're here, or if you're thinking about coming down uh, Saturday night, just ask any floor person. We'll give you a wristband and free entry. Slash is here tomorrow night. Are you going to go to the concert? Uh, who's that? Slash. Oh, Slash. Slash. Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, probably well, not. I'll probably be working. I think, you know, you should get up on stage with Slash. Because he's a pretty tall guy as far as I know, too. I mean, you guys. Should I wear a suit when I go up there? Because that would be a, quite a contrast, wouldn't it? I think you got to bust out the leather, Chris. 
I think oh. if you're going to be a, with a rock and roller, you got to fit in. Leather? Hmm. I don't think I own anything leather except my shoes or my belt. Jeez, go to the hard rock shop. What that's are you doing? That's true, right? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So what's the craziest thing you've seen so far this series? Uh, craziest thing. Let me think. Uh, I saw phew, so much stuff. What's one? I can't think of one right offhand, honestly. How about you? Uh, I've seen guys doing crazy dances and running around and girls trash talking and it's been it's been an interesting group of players at some points. Yes, so. we have a uh, eclectic group of players. <laughs> uh, you know, once you get to know them, though, they're actually all pretty good people. You know, just in general, poker players are good people, but um, they like to have fun with us. We like to have fun back with them. I haven't seen anything too crazy yet, but I'm sure we still have a few more days. There'll be a little excitement. Oh, I've seen uh, quads beat. Is that exciting? Sure. Whatever you ex whatever you consider exciting, it's I have, exciting. I have yet to see a royal flush ever beat, though. Is that I haven't either. Yeah, so um, I don't know if that's possible. But well, it was great have coming on the show, Mark. I gotta you know get Do started for my 8 p.m. tournament. What time is it, by the way? Uh, it is 7:56. Yes, I'm running late. I oh gotta get goodness. over there. All right, Mark Chris, Hoke. I will be you. back. Thank you very much. Thank you. All great right, job here. Thank you. So Chris Spears stopping by. Of course, one of the tournament directors here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open here in Hollywood, Florida. And one of the best in the business, no question about it. Chris does a great job taking care of everybody here. You're welcome. So uh, Chris Spears uh, doing his thing. And, uh, of course, uh, we continue on here. We're uh, just about uh, at the 8 o'clock hour here on the East Coast. 12 minutes and 30 seconds left in the break, so the players are going to Start filing in here pretty shortly, coming back to finish out their day. Four more levels. So they've got about, uh, about two hours plus, about what, 240, somewhere in there, to uh, try and chip up. And then some guys may have to make a decision if they're going to keep that stack or they're going to let it go and play on. And, of course, $5,300 buy-in for these players so that's a pretty tough decision you know if you're you have a marginal stack do you let it go or you keep uh, you know, bring it out bring back and you know, take a couple days off and come back and try and build it up and be a part of this uh, what should be an incredible prize pool here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open all right so we're just going to hang on here and we'll see I, I know Dan O'Brien's flying around we'll see if we can grab Dan real quick or uh, I know Joe Cotta's right nearby as well. So we'll see if uh, we can get somebody to stop by on the show before we uh, take a break. And, uh, yeah, maybe, you know, of course, everybody's going to be back in play, so it might be kind of tough to stay on the air. And plus, uh, yeah, I do want to get out and celebrate a little bit. That would be nice. Uh, of course, as uh, Chris mentioned yesterday, uh, finished second in the charity series of poker tournament and uh, picking up a little money, uh, most of it going to Hal Can Hang because he put me in the tournament. But I do uh, also get a PCA package, so I'm playing a tournament, one of the tournaments at the uh, at the PCA in the Bahamas. Looking forward to that. And just uh, letting Matt Affleck know, of course, just tweeted what time is dinner break in. So just wanted to let him know there real quick. Um, all right. And uh, let's see if we've got any more information on the tournament at this point. While the players make their way back in here. And, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any more chip counts available to us. So uh, can't really tell you where everybody stands. But, uh, you know, if you keep following shrpo.com, uh, you're going to get as much up-to-date information as you can on this throughout the night. All right, 
So uh, as soon as the uh, players get released, the, a lot of them stand outside. Of course, uh, they're very strict on uh, letting the players get back into the tournament area. Uh, I'll tell you what, a lot of security uh, to cover this tournament, uh, not only just physically, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys uh, uh, in the uh, Seminole Hard Rock uh, security team that are here trying to keep an eye on things. Uh, but, of course, uh, cameras everywhere. Also, uh, the, the on most of the breaks, uh, the dealers, uh, major breaks, the players are doing, or dealers are doing chip count sheets where they're actually, uh, the players are having to leave their, either their receipt or their player's club card on the table, and uh, they're getting their card number written down and their chip count. So pretty tough to try and pull anything in here. Lord knows, uh, you know, and uh, certainly uh, don't know exactly what uh, chip security these guys have, but I'm sure I know there's a few new sets in place. I would imagine there's some extra security uh, procedures put into place. So, you know, also, uh, you know, very safe to play this one, too. And once again, uh, players making their way uh, back into, uh, you know, getting ready to make their way back in here. Uh, dealers looking like they're on their last uh, changing downs here. So just sliding up a table and getting ready to go here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open main event. And, of course, uh, don't forget, guys, uh, if you want to follow the Seminole Hard Rock, hey, just look right over my shoulder uh, at SHRPO on Twitter, hashtag SHRPO. And, of course, uh, the blog team keeping on that, too. Any interesting tweets, uh, they'll be getting them. And, of course, when I'm on air, I'll be taking a look at those, too, like I did for uh, Matt Affleck, just to let him know it, uh, he had 10 minutes to go to get back in here. So. Uh, getting ready to fire this up. Of course, uh, some the other remaining events here in the Seminole Hard Rock series. Coming up, of course, uh, we've got all these days on the main event, but plus uh, on the 18th, a, on Sunday, August 30th, uh, the or, uh, event 18 on Sunday, August 30th, 3 p.m., day one of the No Limit Hold'em Reentry Tournament, uh, $1,100 buy-in, $100,000 guarantee on that. So if you uh, don't make it through to day two, Hey, you got a few more shots to pick up some coin on that, uh, especially a hundred thousand dollar guarantee on Labor Day. A thirty thousand dollar guarantee, holiday deep stack no limit hold tournament, two hundred fifty dollar buy in on that one. Uh, one hundred thousand dollar super high roller also kicking off on Monday. Uh, that day one also starting at noon on event number twenty one, also starting on Monday at three p.m. Purple Chip Bounty no limit hold and reentry tournament, sixteen hundred fifty dollar buy in. So you got a lot of choices depending on how much you want to spend on Monday. And then you come back uh, also on Monday at 5 p.m. is day 1A of $150 No Limit Hold'em Reentry Tournament with a $50,000 guarantee. So that should uh, pick up some extra extra draw on that. Uh, event 23 uh, starting on Tuesday at noon. Pot Limit Omaha, 8 or better, $250 reentry tournament there. And Wednesday, September 3rd at noon. Uh, to wrap things up, the Big Stack No Limit Hold'em Reentry Tournament, $200 buy-in, $500,000 guarantee. And, of course, uh, these guys certainly haven't even come close to missing a guarantee on any of these events. It's a good chance to come down and uh, have a great time here at Seminole Hard Rock, no matter what level you want to play at. But, uh, of course, you're definitely going to want to be around for the final table of uh, both the High Roller and this main event live streamed. Uh, by the Poker Stars uh, TV team. All right, looks like players just getting ready to come back in here. Five minutes to go on the break before they get seated. It's everybody rolling back in here, uh, getting ready to go. And, uh, of course, uh, this is kind of where the rubber meets the road on a, a day 1A like this. All these great players coming in here. Of course, uh, you know, celebrities playing here too. Richard Seymour is in this tournament. The former NFL star and three-time Super Bowl winner is in the field. Uh, 
And, of course, tournament staff uh, mentioning they also do have an 8 p.m. qualifier if you want to try and pick up another bullet. It's pretty convenient if things go uh, things go badly here or if uh, you know, maybe some of the guys got into town late. Yeah, a chance to pick up an extra bullet or two and you know, play in some of these qualifiers. So uh, we're just hanging on here for a couple of minutes before we wrap things up here for our evening show on the Mark Hoke Show, coming to you live from the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open, Hollywood, Florida. Of course, we had uh, 333 runners in this one uh, to this point. And, uh, of course, uh, we need to hit 2000 to get the $10 million guarantee, $5,000 entries. And we're off to a pretty solid start here. And uh, just watching the numbers uh, go up and up. Of course, uh, last three minutes to enter today's play. So eventually we'll see where that number ends up. Hey, Dan, want to say hi for a minute? You got a second? All right, let's get Dan O'Brien over here. Ultimate poker pro. Yeah, swing around that way. And, uh, of course, all-around great American, Dan O'Brien going to be joining us here so uh, we'll find out how Dan's doing and how much he's enjoying this trip Dan look at this guy this is all great. the really making use of time here yeah there you go all the all the girls are going crazy because Dan O'Brien has uh, made it into the Mark Hoke show what's up my friend first of all I'm not so sure they are but thank you you're welcome and how many girls are listening to this show uh there's a few out there <laughs> you got a few hello ladies <laughs> Dan are you single right now um, I am actually just met a really great girl. Oh, good for but, you. Um, but uh, I'm still, you know, for all intents and purposes, single. Okay, so door's still open. I'm checking single on the, on the census box. Okay, fair enough. Well, Dan, how's it going here for you today? What's happening? You know, it's been one of the more frustrating days of poker. My, my table's pretty good, and I just haven't had any hands, so it's been a lot of patience and just watching craziness go on and not being able to hop in the action but at least i'm still in there and i have about starting stack so you know i could be in worse shape what is a chip count uh, for somebody that may be entering this thing when you finish the day that you'd be willing to forfeit what do you kind of think that number is uh, i mean it really depends on your skill level and your your bankroll but it really should be pretty high uh, pretty low i mean if you have say ten thousand chips it's really hard to justify spending another five thousand for, for thirty k. But uh, I mean, if you have under ten thousand, I guess you can start to consider it based on your bankroll and how much you're willing to gamble. Um, it also depends on how the field is, um, especially with numbers, because we didn't get a huge turnout today. So if there's a possibility of an overlay, then you're going to be forfeiting slightly higher stacks. But uh, I don't know. I don't really have a good answer for you right now. I, I'm, I'm hoping not to have to worry about that. There you go. And real fast, you got we got a minute to get you over to the table. What is going on with you and Danielle? I'll tell you what, you guys are fighting it out uh, on this thing on Ultimate Poker. What's going on there? Yeah. Uh, you know, I had a pretty sizable lead on her. Now she's cutting it down. But, but we're having a lot of fun. You know, I'm really enjoying them. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed most of the episodes that we've put out. So I think that's, that's good. And, you know, it's, it's, it's our first season. I'm um, just trying to put something out there that's a little bit different in poker. Um, hopefully entertain some people, and I think we've gotten a great response so far. So I'm really happy to be a part of it. And, you know, hopefully we can keep going and keep getting better. Sounds good. Well, I'll let you get back into play, buddy. Good luck to you. Thanks, Build that thank thing up. You got it, man. Thanks for having me. Hopefully hopefully I'll be around for a while. All right. Sounds good. Dan O'Brien yeah. joined us here on the Mark Hoke Show. He's got 16 seconds to get around the table, our press table, and into play. Because, of course, that uh, you got to be within the arm's length. And Dan is just sauntering over. I think he's going to make it. And he did. Four seconds to go. And Dan O'Brien has achieved victory. <laughs> Got to love it. All right. And cards are in the air here. Uh, we got another entry, 334. So we'll see where that number finally ends up here probably in a couple of minutes. 
All right, so there you go. I see Matt Glantz walking around. Uh, that may not be a good thing. I know Matt was uh, kind of short stacked today uh, early on and just been fighting. Nope, actually, he's taking his seat. Uh, he obviously had to uh, fire another bullet because he was over at, I believe, table one or two and uh, is now in there. See uh, Zach Grunberg over there. Zach had an awesome World Series. He's playing this as well. Uh, let's see if we've just uh, got any more player updates. That looks like everybody uh, pretty much settled it in. So we're going to at least have 334 coming in, and it looks like uh, we just got the chip count sheets as well, but it's going to take a while to go through those. So probably not going to be able to get you all the information uh, about that. So what I would tell you to do is go to shrpo.com, check out the blog, and as soon as they can compile those numbers for you and get you some of the bigger stacks up on the board, uh, they will do so. But everybody making their way back into play, uh, seeing Jared Jaffe having a seat there. Of course, Jared won his first World Series of Poker Bracelet this year at the WSOP. Such a great year for a lot of good quality, talented players uh, and great characters, too, uh, picking up victories. This year at the WSOP, and maybe one of those guys is going to be the man to win the Seminole Hard Rock this year. Maybe we'll have one of the ladies uh, striking out and getting it done, too. All right, so uh, that's about where we stand at this point here at the uh, World Series. Of, or the Wow, I just started talking World Series and did it again. Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. Uh, 2014. As you can tell, I was up pretty late last night. <laughs> and I seem to be failing miserably here about identifying where I am. So I think with that, uh, we're going to call it a night. And we will see you guys uh, back here tomorrow. I think we'll hold the same schedule. We'll go 2 and 7 again. Uh, here at the uh, Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open. We'll be back for day 1B. We'll see who makes it through tonight and is going to be coming back for uh, day two coming up on Sunday. So it should be a pretty good one. So I think it's going to do it. Oh, Dan Heimiller's in the house, by the way. Yeah, we're starting. Like I said, we're starting to see some peeps popping in the door, at least saying hi. I don't know if Dan's. Uh... And it looks like, yeah, Dan might be making his way over. Can't tell if he's in here yet or not. He's just kind of meandering around. Uh, see Jonathan Driscoll over there, too, great Canadian player in the house. And, yeah, Dan uh, is taking a seat, so it looks like Dan Heimiller uh, has come in here and is ready to fire a bullet. Here at the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open, along with so many other great players. All right, so, uh, guys, we will see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time here on the Mark Hoke Show. I want to thank you all for joining us. and. Uh, Certainly appreciate you taking the time out to catch us, and we will catch you tomorrow. Uh, once again, 2 p.m., 7 p.m. here on MarkHokeShow.com. Thanks for being with us, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.